Your lawn may be looking a little bad this fall due to the effects of drought or insects or diseases. While there are a number of different diseases that can attack our turf, take-all patch is the one that kills areas of turf. Take-all patch can attack St. Augustine where it's especially devastating, but can also affect zoysia and certain other turf grasses. Let's take a look at how we identify take-all patch and how we control it. One of the symptoms of take-all patch is that it kills the lawn in very irregular areas, leaving little splotches of green grass interspersed among the dead, and the area grows in size in a very irregular pattern. If you reach down and pull up one of the runners, you'll find that the roots are dead along the runner. Perhaps a few living roots remain out near the end, but they will soon be dead too. That's why it gives the same appearance in some ways as drought damage. Now in order to manage take-all patch, we have a few options. First of all, we can acidify the soil. By spreading sulfur at a very low rate, you can cause the runner zone right at the surface to be a little more acidic and it seems to deter the disease. Another thing we can do that accomplishes the same effect is spreading peat moss. If you take a bale of compressed sphagnum peat and spread it over about a thousand square foot area of the lawn, that's about the right rate for managing the disease. Then you want to water it in real well. And again, it's causing some acidification around the surface of the runner and is shown in research studies by Texas A&M up in Dallas to be quite effective. The fall and spring seasons are good times to take action against this disease. With your common sense tip on managing take-all patch before it takes all of your lawn, I'm Skip Richter.